Hi. In the given problem, Weber and Gauss's transmission lines have long parallel wires having mass per unit length as lambda is equal to 40 gram per meter. Or we can say this is 40 into 10 to power minus 3 kilogram per meter. So, if we consider the mass of these wires to be m, we can say this lambda is m by l, where l is the total length of the wires. Or we can say this mass is equal to lambda into l. Now, if you draw the front view of these two transmission lines, these are the suspension cables and these are the cross-sectional views of the two transmission lines. The, in the two transmission lines, the currents will be in opposite direction. Here, this is the angular displacement between these two suspension cables, which is given as 16 degree. Here, this is the length of suspension wire. So here, this angle will become just 8 degree. Here, this will be the tension in the suspension wire. If this is the length of the suspension wire, then using trigonometry, we can say this segment will be having a length of L sine theta, or we can say the total gap between the two cables will be 2L sine theta. Now, if the mass of the cable is m, here this will be its weight given as mg, here this is the tension T. This tension T may be resolved into two components. One is this. If this angle is 8 degree, this angle here will also be 8 degree. So, the vertical component of the tension in the suspension wire is T cos 8 degree and this horizontal component is T sine 8 degree and due to the current in both the cables, there will be a magnetic force acting on the cables. As the current are in opposite direction, this will be a force of repulsion. So, in the first part of the problem, we have to find the direction of the current. Are the currents in the same direction or in opposite direction? So, obviously, the currents in the cable are in opposite direction. Then only the two cables will repel each other. And here, this force acting between two current carrying conductors is given as mu naught by 4 pi into 2 I1 into I2 by R. This is the expression for the force per unit length. So, if we have to find the total force, we will have to multiply by the length of the cable, which we assume to be capital L. So, in equilibrium, if we consider, if we equate all the components of the forces, we come to know that this T sine 8 degree is equal to the magnetic force acting between the cables and this T cos 8 degree is equal to weight of the cable. So, if we divide these two equations, the tension will be cancelled out. So, we will get tan 8 degree is equal to F by mg or we can say this magnetic force F is equal to mg into 10, 8 degree. Now, plugging in the expression for this force, this is mu naught by 4 pi into 2 I1 I2 by R, the distance between the cables is equal to and into L, the total length of the cables is equal to M. For mass, we can use 
linear mass density lambda into total length into g into 10 8 degrees so cancelling this length here then and using in place of r the expression it becomes mu naught by 4 pi into 2 i square as the current will be identical in both the cables so this is mu naught by 4 pi 2 i square into for r this is 2 l sine theta where l is the length of suspension wire is equal to lambda into g into 10 8 degrees so finally plugging in all known values for mu naught by 4 pi this is 10 raised to power minus 7 then this is 2 i square the value of current is unknown then this is 2 into 6 centimeter or we can say 6 by 100 meter into sine 8 degree is equal to for lambda this is 40 into 10 dash power minus 3 kilogram per meter for g this is 9.8 and again this is 10 8 degree so finally i square here comes out to be 12 by 100 into 40 into 10 dash power minus 3 into 9.8 into 10 8 degree into sine 8 degree divided by 2 into 10 dash power minus 7 which finally comes out to be approximately 4600 so we can say the magnitude of current i is equal to square root of 4600 which comes out to be 67.8 ampere and this is the answer for the second part of the problem here this is the second part in the first part we had to find the direction of current and in the second part we had to find the magnitude of the current thank you